Ladies and gentlemen, or rather one lady and the rest of the gentlemen, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be discussing the recent Assassin's Creed Mirage leaks. Now I don't know how to pronounce Mirage, I think it's called Mirage and that's what I'm going to say. If I'm wrong, do let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> but all that said, let's just get on with the video. So now these leaks have been coming for months now and I think we have known about it for months now. So I'm not going to go into specifics of every single point of this leak. I am rather going to just share my opinions and my thoughts about these leaks. Now, but before I go any further with this, there are there is one thing that I need to address. Assassin's Creed as a franchise has come a long way and the games that I love no longer really influence what Assassin's Creed means now because in the last three games nothing really spoke to me nothing really said Assassin's Creed in these games at least that's my perspective there were precious few times in these games where I actually felt like I was playing an Assassin's Creed game and those moments were so few and far between that they might as well have not existed but that is my perspective. If you are someone who has enjoyed Valhalla, if you are someone who has enjoyed Odyssey, I also have some things to say about those people. And it's not negative. Like usually, yeah, I shit on Odyssey a lot. I shit on Valhalla a lot. I know that. I know that I have a bias towards the older games. But in this, I am trying to be as objective as I can. So if even if you do like those games, keep watching the video. And while you are watching it, uh, you know, a subscription would be nice. It would really cheer me up. Uh, I'm at 483 now. Well, getting to 500 would be great. So yeah, do that. Anyway, let's just get on with the video. So if we consider what is actually in the leak, one of the biggest talking points really that these leaks have is this game is trying to go back to its roots, like trying to become like the original Assassin's Creed games. Which already begs the question, what kind of an Assassin's Creed game does this game want to be? Now, I, I think it, at this point, everyone knows that this game was supposed to be a DLC for Valhalla. So for them to take that game, to take Valhalla's DLC and really go back to the basics, I don't know how that is going to work because the gameplay in Valhalla, frankly speaking, from my own perspective, is absolute dog shit. And I don't mean to really diminish anything that the developers have done. Clearly, the focus was not on parkour, the focus was not on stealth, and those are the two things that I really expect from an Assassin's Creed game. That's on me. Maybe I should have fo focused more on the combat, but that's on me. I like stealth in Assassin's Creed games. I like, uh, you know, the fast paced sort of, you know, throwing gadgets everywhere and throwing like smoke bombs and stuff. I like that stuff. I like the parkour. Now, that, that's on me. I don't like the other stuff. But the thing is, since this game is being derived from Valhalla and with the well-documented issues of Valhalla, I mean, I can sit here and talk about for hours about how broken the stealth in Valhalla is, about how shit the parkour has been in the last three games. But I'm not going to do that. That's not what this video is about. My point is, with that as a starting point, how much can they really salvage from it? Like, in a way, I, I am concerned about two things here. Now, there is one concern that this is just going to be a sort of a cash grab. You know, they are going to say all the Assassin's Creed, uh, older Assassin's Creed fans that, look, we are finally making a game that is for you. It's a love letter to all the fans who have been by this franchise since its inception. But there is also a hopeful side of this. Like, the fact that they decided, no, this is not going to be a DLC for Valhalla, we are just going to make this an entirely different game, means that they are working on something. And if they are, if they are trying to improve the system, if they are trying to improve the parkour, if they are trying to improve the stealth, if they are bringing social stealth back properly, and not just a shadow of itself, if they are trying all of these things, then that is great if they can implement all of these things and if that is the reason why they decided this should be a standalone game i am all for it but there is still a cynical in me saying that this is just going to end up being a cash grab now we move on and address one other glaring point which is the odyssey and the valhalla fans now i cannot move forward without addressing you specifically because 
the fans of Odyssey, the fans of Valhalla far outnumber any of the older Assassin's Creed fans. Because it's simple, really. The games didn't sell as many in the previous entries. Because, you know, that's how things work. You know, franchise becomes bigger, more and more people jump in. And especially with the way the franchises have been targeted in the modern three games, they have been targeted as a, at a much wider audience. And it has worked for Ubisoft because both Odyssey and Valhalla have been top sellers. Like, they are consistently among the top sellers. So clearly it has worked. Clearly a lot of people have played these games and if people didn't enjoy these games, it, they wouldn't have sold as much. So I can't sit here and say that these games are shit and like no one should like them because clearly people do and we need to address that. So by you know returning back to the basics, by removing the RPG elements, removing the multiple protagonists, the dual protagonists, the dialogue options, the leveling system, maybe there is a chance that this game will alienate a lot of that audience now if this game is good if this game can capture the old assassin's creed games then maybe these newer fans will finally you know get to experience what these games used to be but then again that's my hopeful side what might actually end up happening is that most people will just shun the game because it's not like the game that they love like kind of what i am doing like, I am not innocent in this. I just shit on Valhalla and Odyssey. I mean, I can similarly see the people who enjoy Odyssey and Valhalla not liking the older games. So this is something that Ubisoft cannot really fix. And this is something that I'm interested in looking at and interested in seeing how this ends up being. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> ah, anyway. So now some more interesting details. So in the leaks and in what was being talked about, they did say that Modern Day is not going to be featured all that much. It's going to be in the beginning before Basim gets into the Animus. And also you are going to be controlling Basim in Baghdad, Iraq. And this game is going to be set slightly before Valhalla. And to all of that, I have to say, A, I find it a bit interesting that it is Basim who is viewing the memories of Basim. It doesn't really say make sense to me, but like, why, why would you view your own memories? It uh, did really, uh, did he forget what he did? Like it didn't seem like he had forgotten himself. So I don't understand why Basim would like to remember his older memories. It doesn't really click with me, but hey, it's fine. I guess it's okay. Anyway, there is also going to be visions of Loki. Now, I'm not going to spoil why Loki is in the story, uh, because that would be a huge spoiler for Valhalla if you haven't played it. Uh, but yeah, if you have played it, you know why he's here. Now, they say Eagle Vision is back, which I don't know what they mean by that, because technically it was there. I mean, it was the Odin sense in Valhalla, and it, okay, it didn't really exist in Origins or Odyssey. So yeah, in a way, I think it's going to be kind of like Syndicate or Unity's Eagle Vision. We'll know more when we see it. But interestingly, there is also the bird. Now, when Basim was in Valhalla, there was never a mention of any bird. And this just feels like they just have to have that mechanic and they just put it in without any reason whatsoever. And this is actually one of those points, like this is a very tiny detail in the entire leak, but this is just one of those things that is making me think that it's not going to be much different than Valhalla. There's going to be an exact copy of Valhalla and that doesn't give me much confidence. So anyway, so that those are some interesting things. It is going to be set in Baghdad, which is finally a game set in a city in urban areas and the entire game probably set in urban areas will probably get to meet uh, Sigurd by the end of the game or something and I think that happened in Constantinople so that that is seeing Istanbul will be really uh, interesting to say the least uh, so yeah they are going to be doing that they are going to be going back to those areas to the Middle East if you will so that's where Assassin's Creed essentially began so it's interesting that they are going back there so that's what I feel about this game. What I feel is this is probably going to end up being a cash grab that Ubisoft will try and sell as a love letter to the older fans. I don't think this is going to really please the newer fans of Odyssey and Valhalla. I don't think this is going to, you know, really uh, impress the older fans like me. 
because i expect good gameplay and if it's based on valhalla i don't see how that's gonna happen but there is a part of me that's hopeful so i am assuming this is going to be revealed in that september stream that assassin's creed has scheduled and also there's a ubisoft forward literally in september so that would be interesting to see when they reveal the date uh, we'll know more when we get there and so far that's all for me really so do let me know what do you guys think about this do you think this is a good idea a bad idea a terrible idea do you think it's going to be good do you think it's going to be just a cash grab like me so do let me know all of that down in the comments below and i will leave you guys in peace no,